up Simonics and welcome back to a new Ionic React quick win. In this quick win I'm going to show you how to implement a tab bar which is pretty much the most common form of navigation inside mobile apps. So we're going to do not just a tab bar, we're not going to start with the Ionic tabs template because that doesn't really make any sense. We're going to start with a blank template, integrate a simple dummy login page in front of the tabs and then navigate into the tab bar area. So by doing this you completely understand how to set up an Ionic tab bar, how to define the routes, how the animations work, how the connection between the different parts work and afterwards you're able to do pretty much any kind of navigation that is related to tabs. So we'll also go into a details page of that tab bar, we're gonna do a little bit of outside uh, transitioning, so really everything included. If you want to check out the source code, link below the video for all Ionic Academy members and if you're not yet a member, go check it out right now, ionicacademy.com, my place to help you with everything Ionic. But now let's build a cool React tab bar. Alright, let's start with a new Ionic application. So go ahead and run Ionic start my tabs blink. We're gonna use the blink layout. You could use the tab layout, but that would be kind of kill the whole idea of this video. So we're gonna start with a blink template to learn how we can actually build a tab bar. Once we got the project, navigate into it and generate four files. You can do this uh, with either the CLI, you can do it by hand in your IDE. I really don't care, just create four files. And then once you're done, you can also run Ionic Surf, which should bring up a nice preview of your application. And right now it should actually show this. Because we're using TypeScript, so uh, we will get a lot of complaints after generating those new files. I'm not searching for the letter S. <laughs> so, uh, so let's fix this by creating a few pages. Um, we're gonna import the same thing to all of the four files that we generated. And that is just this blurb. But we're gonna rename in the right places what we wanna do. So this is a standard Ionic React functional component. It's an Ion page with a header area and a content area. Just make sure that you switch out the name here and down here, whether you got the export and probably also the title so you can really identify on which page you are actually. So let's do this for the other pages. This is tab two, tab two. I really love to have like a CLI to generate these things with uh, React, but well, um, I don't know, probably this is actually possible with create React app. Mm, I don't know. Uh, and this one will be the login in the end. Because we're gonna just add the login page in front of the other pages to really understand how we navigate from something into a tab bar. Because the default tabs uh, template, if you use it, just has the um, tabs layout defined right here in your app TSX. And I think in most cases, like 80 to 90 percent, that's not what you want. You usually want to have some kind of login page. So we're not gonna start in here and replace this stuff in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the path slash to our component, which is the login. Thanks for um, no imports and code completion today, IDE. I really love you. There we go, <laughs> and then we finally got this. And once we do this, we're able to navigate to our login page, great. Now the second page is the inside area kind of, so I'm gonna add this to app and we're gonna use the tabs in here. So the tabs page will load pretty much everything else that follows inside the inside area. Now before we dive into the tabs area, let's quickly set up the login page. Um, I'm gonna bring in a little function because what we want to do is we just want to navigate to the inside. And we could do this with a router link on the login page or we could also use the ION router because that's actually a bit cooler uh, since usually you're gonna have to make some kind of API call here using fetch or whatever library you're using and set your JWT or cookie or whatever you get and then you're gonna perform the actual navigation to the inside area, not just using a router link. So therefore, uh, now let's add a button in here. Ion button. Oh, come on. Ion button, expand definitely full. On click, we wanna call our do login. Yeah, I didn't want any code completion anyway. 
So do the lock in. There we got the button. And once we click it, we're actually on our tabs page. That works pretty well. Uh, also, we're not really able to go back anymore since we used replace in here. So there are different ways to play around with this. Um, Oops. If we go from login to inside area, you could just replace the whole root page like we do in this case. Or you could also use a forward animation, which was pretty much push uh, the next page on the stack. So I would use forward. It will look like this, like a push animation. But that's completely up to you. I think if you navigate forward from login to an inside area, um, using root to just uh, replace your view makes the most sense. Great, we got the login, so we can now completely focus on our tabs. The cool thing is that we really just put everything under slash app in tabs. And we can define now the actual tab bar and the routes here inside tabs. That makes it pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to use ion tabs instead here. So that will surround everything that we got. And then we need an ion router outlet to set up a few routes. So let's do this. Route number one has the path slash app slash tab one, and it will use the component tab one, please. Nice. So we can also close the tag right here and then go ahead. Next step is tab number two. And of course we need tab two page and then hit save. And we see a lot of errors because Mm, a route consists of a pair of callback on path, whatever, component, tab one. Uh, what's your problem with that? Yeah, definitely not route from workbox routing. What the actual, please use the React Router DOM. That's a lot better place to import this. Now, anyway, this is just the routing setup. Um, since we arrived after the login at slash app, we should also add a redirect. So we're going to add an exact match for the path app and redirect to app tab one. That means we don't really need to care if somebody's navigating to app, what our login is doing. And also the login doesn't need to know exactly which pages or tabs we have inside. The login just goes to app and we're going to handle everything else in here. Additionally, we now need the ion tab bar and we're going to put this in the slot bottom. You can actually also have the uh, bar at the top, but that's not really supported anymore. And I don't think anyone is really using this anymore. And what we need now is an ion tap button inside the ion tap bar. And actually we need two. We need how many uh, taps you want, three, four, five, <laughs> really totally up to you. And then we're going to specify this to be the tap one with an href um set to the path that we want to display so app tab one um if i create this we should actually okay we haven't added actually any kind of content so uh let's do an ion icon uh, not name but actually icon and then we're going to import two icons from ionicons which are already installed so the ellipse and the triangle uh, just for demo purposes right here. And we're going to put an ion label below and say this is tab one. All right, after saving this, this is most likely covered by my head. That's probably maybe a bad idea. Maybe we should switch this for the tabs example. So let's do it like this. Da -da -da -da. And do it like this. Because when we are working on the tab bar, you should actually see the tab bar. There we go. We see the tab bar. And now we can just add another tab button. So let's make this one tab two using app slash tab two. Uh, we're going to use a different icon. So use the triangle and make this tab two. And with that in place, we have a tab bar. Well, we probably have a tab bar, but something's not yet loading. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I forgot about something really, really important once again. Uh, tab two, app tab two, app tab two, tab two. <laughs> um, usually this comes, ah, uh, what was the error we had before? Ah, I know, I know, I know. Let's go back to the FTSX and check. Yes, this is the problem. Um, we can't have an exact match for the path app because then it would only match once 
and everything else wouldn't work. So let's try this again. We start here at the lock-in area, we move forward into the tab area, we're on tab 1, and we can switch to tab 2. Nice! We did this, we did this, we have a tab bar. Let's like, how long did us take this? Like, I don't know, 10 minutes probably? Yeah, 10 minutes, close to 10 minutes. That's pretty cool. We can now use this tab bar. Um, but I think it makes sense to show you one more thing and that is how we can navigate into a details page because you're gonna have lists in here, you're gonna have other stuff, you won't live on the top level of those tab pages. So yeah, you probably know how you could now uh, add more tabs, just add another tab button and more routes. But if you want a details page, that's a, maybe a tiny bit more complicated. So let's add another details TSX file and because we're using TSX, you know the game, head over to the details page and then we're going to fill this with pretty much the default setup but additionally I'm going to use uh, ion buttons in the toolbar and the ion back button. So by using the ion back button we will automatically see a back arrow in case uh, we can go back uh, which will then point to our initial tab. Um, but you don't really have to do this, you can do it completely up to you. Now, with that in place, uh, we can head over again to our tabs where we got the Ion Router outlet, which is the container for the whole animations and stuff that Ionic does on top. And we're going to add a route to slash tab1 details and we're going to use the details component. I'm going to put it here just for a bit better grouping. Am I having the same uh, path components up here? Ionic understands that this is like a child page or a page that pushed to the stack. And the only thing we now need is to have a little button on our tab 1 page. So let's go ahead with tab 1, ion button, um, router link, router link, uh, slash app, page 1. We can't use relative uh, router links with the, uh, um, with the React router DOM as far as I know. I don't know if this can change in the future, would be quite helpful. But anyway, uh, I'm going to use expand full and then say go deeper there we go and let's see uh it's not working <laughs> of course it's not working because uh at some point i mess messed up uh, okay so let's go back to our tabs routing and within the tabs routing we should have an exact match i think here so in some cases we do need the exact match because otherwise it's not working. Um, we didn't need it at the top level, but it certainly does make sense here at the child level. So let's try it again. Go deeper. Oh, come on, what's the pass? We're actually opening app, page one. <laughs> yeah, Simon, great job. <laughs> Please go back to the tab one and don't call this page one, but instead tab one. If you do that, you should be able to go to the details page and then you can close it great that works actually pretty nice uh, we can move between them we can go deeper uh, we probably want to do like a lockout as well uh, let's add this to our tab one uh, i'm gonna add it to the toolbar ion buttons slot uh, we're gonna put this in the end slot and then an ion button we could have another action here but for simplicity let's just do a router link to slash and use the router direction root or pop mm, uh, backward. No, it's less stupid. Uh, I'm gonna just call it lockout. We could use another icon, but let's keep it simple. So lockout should bring us back to the login and we can go inside and we got the details page. Cool, that works. We've got a lot of routing concepts in this one. Uh, there's just one more thing that I wanna show you and that is another button. And we're going to just go to slash details only. Go details outside. Because sometimes you have the case that you want to go to a details page, but you don't want to keep the tab bar open. So yes, you could technically also, I think, use the tab bar controller to hide the tab bar. But maybe you can also just push the details page above your tab bar routing. And we can do this by now setting up the, uh, the route not within our tabs routing because this is all part of ion tabs but instead heating up one level up here and set up a route to details only using the details page and hitting save and now let's see 
go details outside and the tab bar is gone and we can still go nicely back. So this is a pattern that might be helpful sometimes if you want to open something above. Just make sure if you protect your inside area using an auth context, um, you will have to also add this now to the details only page since um, you can access it from the inside. And if you have something that needs to be protected with your auth context, you will have to add it to this as well. But otherwise, you have now the full round trip from login, tabs, different tabs. You could have as much uh, as many as you want. We got a details page inside, we got a details page outside, and we got a lockout. And with that, your React tab bar is finished. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick win and now understand how you can do the tab bar pattern with Ionic React. It's actually not that hard, but just using the default Ionic template for the tab bar, it gives you a tab bar in the app TSX, and that's sometimes not really helpful if you have a login page and then you start to move around stuff and nothing works, you don't have animations, so really watch out for these things. If you wanna see more, again, check out the Ionic Academy, and of course, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Ionic videos, and of course, web development and how you as a web developer can build better mobile applications. I hope you enjoyed this, if you did so, come back and until then happy coding Simon